Hey y'all, it's Bill Lawler. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make one of my favorite vegetable side dishes. It's called Southern Style Mashed Rutabaga. I did a search on YouTube and didn't find very many mashed rutabaga recipes. There are a lot that show how you can roast them or chop them up in small cubes like potatoes and cook them in a stew or something like that. But this is the way I grew up in Mississippi eating rutabaga. Now the rutabaga is called Swede in the United Kingdom and perhaps elsewhere in, in Western Europe. We only lived in Wales uh, for five years, and so um, it was called Swede there. We discovered there were a lot of names of items that uh, we went looking for in the grocery store, asking for uh, things like, uh, you know, eggplant, found out those are called aubergine, and then we found out that rutabagas are called Swedes. Anyway, the rutabaga is a root vegetable, uh, very similar to a potato, except it's much harder. It's heavy. It's large. I've seen them as big as your head. And um, the one I got to cook today is, is actually on the small side. And once I cut into it, I, I should have refrigerated it from the time I brought it home from the store. But I put it in, in my little vegetable basket on the cat on the counter, and it, I think it overripened on part of it. So I had to cut away about a third of it, as you'll see in the video, uh, where it was just too ripe. Anyway, it's very hard, meaning it can be dangerous for inexperienced cooks. If you're not really careful with a large knife, a large sharp, or even a dull, you can forget trying to cut it in half with a, with a dull knife. You will really struggle and probably hurt yourself. So I just sharpened up my knife. I use a kind of a seven inch chef knife uh, to cut it in half and then to chop it up into big chunks. I use a small paring knife to peel the skin off of it. The skin is a waxy, thick skin, and so you'll need to not only cut it, but peel it as well. My strategy for cutting it first, I cut it in half so that I've got two flat surfaces to lay that rutabaga on. Um, because of it being so hard and difficult to cut, so I would recommend it that you cut it in half then lay each half on your cutting board and then cut it uh, into maybe a quarter like I did on this video and then peel each smaller piece rather than trying to hold a big whole rutabaga and peel the whole thing at once. It'll be, you'll be safer and it won't, they're heavy, you know, when they're big and you won't, have to hold it up the whole time and try to peel with the other hand. So anyway, this is my video. I'm not going to comment uh, through the video. I'm just going to let you watch it. No point in me just going on and on about things. I'm going to stop here and let you watch the process. If you boil potatoes, it's pretty much the same. Now, you'll notice I do put a lot of salt in the water, and that's because these things are so dense. It's just, you know, it takes, even with a lot of salt, you're not going to absorb much of that in the cooking process. Now, I cooked mine today about 25 minutes. It should, should have probably been 30. You could even go 45 um, on a slow boil. So bring it to a full boil, then reduce the heat and uh, get it to a slow boil and just put the lid on and let it cook. So here we go. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. 